Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with some Icarus. It's been a while since I played Icarus, but I noticed uh, they came up with a new update about a month ago called Open World, uh, which changes the uh, the way the game works quite a bit. It's a new way of playing. It's not the game itself hasn't changed too much, but they added a new mode. I'm gonna start uh, not not from scratch with a new character, but with a brand new map. Uh, I'm gonna take my level 50 grindy character here because I don't want to grind 50 levels again necessarily. So we'll pick this character, but I did enjoy Icarus, but the way the missions worked, um, the regular missions, you had to rebuild your base every single time you did a mission, which was fun, you know, two times, three times, but <laughs> on the 50th mission, uh, it became a chore, especially if you're building like a t tier four base. But open world, uh, it's persistent. And this is kind of what most of the player base was asking for for a very long time. People at the beginning of the launch of the game said the mission's concept was kind of stupid from what I read in the forums. But open world changes that. And they, they've recently added missions to the open world. So we're going to try this one out, open world. Now there's two maps. I've only ever played on Olympus. They added sticks somewhere along the way in the last year, I think. But I've never played it. But I, I've, I did try it out, actually, just to see what it was like, and it's, it was pretty brutal, actually. <laughs> um, I got eaten by crocodiles pretty quickly, but um, there's some wildlife. Yeah, there's crocodiles on this map, and there's some birds and stuff. Anyway, there's, there's new stuff. I'm going to create a new world on medium mode. What's hard like? I think medium is going to be hard enough, to be honest. Uh, let's just call this uh, sticks one. And our loadout, I, I do have the some of the uh, cool equipment here, like the carbon fiber armor or whatever. We'll, we'll start with this loadout. I don't need four modules because I can't use all four. This one with two inventory slots. I'm not going to bring that, but we'll bring this stuff. We got a, a decent knife, decent pick, uh, oxygen tank, water tank, and our armor, plus this suit here. So let's do this new mission now the way that this works is you've got a kind of a persistent drop point so if i if i pick this one for instance the, the great river and i happen to die i'll respawn around here i won't respawn like randomly it'll be a random spawn unless i have a bed but it'll be close to this area uh i don't think i'll start in the desert or the ice because i'll die probably even faster so I'm going to go with Great River here. I could go with uh, Ring Lake here. It looks pretty nice, actually. Kind of nestled away here. But there's more area to deal with here. More caves, probably. So I'm going to go with Great River. I think a lot of people who are, who are doing the Sticks map are actually doing Great River. So it won't be that different. But uh, here's all the details of the map. Let's see what other other ones say. Cold. Uh... I know it's pretty much impossible to like get started on an ice map because you don't have any like um, uh, fiber and stuff. Anyway, let's let's get in it. Oh, let's check the. I think it's probably possible to start in the desert if you luck out with some trees and stuff. But we'll go Great River, and it's actually really close to the desert and the ice, so easy access to both. Let's drop here. Uh, we'll go private for now and try it out. Uh, there's some, some new kind of parrot birds on this map. There's crocodiles, there's uh, Komodo dragons, which do like a nasty debuff. So I was just getting familiar with the game again and I tried out, uh, tried settling right by the lake and there was just tons of crocodiles. It's possible, but if you, if you, if you anger, oh that's loud, really loud, if you anger one of the uh, crocodiles, they all get angry and you'll get swarmed by like, uh, I got swarmed by 10 crocodiles and I died, but it wasn't too punishing. Anyway, here we go, sorry for the loud launch here. Home sweet home. Let's see where we are here. Now I do have a talent 
but we landed up here actually. I think last time... Yeah, this is interesting. When I tried this out before, I think I landed... Uh, around here? So it is, it is a random spawn, but in the same relative area. Oh, there's one of the birds over there. I do have a talent that shows health bars. So it will should be easier to see enemies. Yeah, I spawned down near the lake there. Now, I'm actually not going to build down there because uh, there are crocodiles everywhere. And I don't know if there's going to be crocodiles along this river here. But there's a whole bunch of new stuff in the game that I've never even tried before. Um, what is that? Is that another? That's just a... That's one of the new birds. Okay, what should we do first? Um, where, oh, let's get my stuff first of all. Oh, there's the health bars. I wonder what I'm seeing down there. Let's go check it out. I should probably get my stuff first, but... Oh, it's deer. These birds are not aggressive, but they will, um... They will steal your food, apparently. Okay, here's all my stuff. Let's take all... And I think that auto wore all the armor. Let's see. Inventory. Yeah, we're good. We got our mo we got two modules. Inventory slots and speed. I think I'll go with yeah, I'll keep the inventory slots for now. And let's go fill up our canteen. In the river. I gotta make sure I can get back out again. We'll go down to the uh, the shore here. Lots of fish. That's good. I hear a wolf. Okay, let's get some water here for... And I guess we'll just start getting supplies, because we're going to have to build a base. Now, I don't know where I'm going to settle, like, long term. Hmm, watermelon. Probably don't need that yet, but uh, we'll grab it. We need to build a... Actually, I do have a pickaxe, but I don't want to use this good pickaxe up, actually. I'm going to save it for mining stuff that's important initially. I need to get a... I do have a knife, so I can do a little bit of fighting, but... Now, the resources do not respawn. Oh, there's a Komodo dragon. And I think he's seen me. He's crawling towards me. Like I said, they have a nasty debuff. Which uh, halves the benefit of food and stuff. So we'll just... Uh, let's go up the hill here. Uh, there's a Kia. There's a bird right there. It's a lovely little... nice. He's just bobbing down... <laughs> He's bobbing down the river. Uh, I have been getting massive lag spikes, so they're still optimizing this open world game concept, I think. There's not much uh, fiber around here. Let's eat some berries. We'll get a buff from that. And we might get a buff from the watermelon here. Uh, did we get... Yeah, we got a watermelon buff and berry buff. I need to build a regular pickaxe here. Stone pickaxe. And I'm going to put my water... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. There's the wolf already. He sees me. He's not attacking. I probably don't want to engage just yet, because, uh... Is he going to follow me? He's just hanging out there. Oh yeah, and now he's ignoring me. Okay, good. <laughs> We're gonna need stuff off him, so... Uh, I want to get, like, a bow and some basic gear going on first, though. There's a pig up there. Yeah, so resources don't respawn, but you can plant plants now. I think you could for a while, but... You can make farms and stuff. Can we make a bow? I don't know why it's outlined in, like that weird orange glow, but we've got a bow going on, and we need some arrows. Let's stone arrows for now. We'll use up all our stone, sure. I think I'll put this... Yeah, I'll keep that in slot 4. That should be fine. So, yeah, we, we'll be able to go, like, to tier 4 um, with all this stuff, I think. I want to try out all the things as usual. I'm not sure where I want to settle yet. 
Where all this little river here? It'd be cool to come up here, but our like I said, our respawn is around here, so we probably want to build. And it it recommends building your base near your kind of starting location. I want to get uh, some bandages made, at least one bandage, just in case bad things happen. And a suture kit. We can't build that yet. Let's go try to find that wolf. <clears throat> I think we're ready for him now. Famous last words. Where did he go? Not sure. Oh, there he is. We'll try to stealth up to him. See if we still got it in terms of the, the aim. Oh, yes. Don't fall off the cliff, please. Uh, the only problem with killing animals is that it brings out lots of other animals. There's a bird down there. I'm going to try to get the bird. Oh, I got him. He kind of flopped up there. There's a dragon down there. But let's, uh, let's skin this guy. I haven't made a stone knife yet. Oh, we can use my good knife just for the first skin here. Get some bones and meat and stuff. Now we can probably make a bone knife, maybe. Uh, not yet. Uh, we need some more stone for a stone knife. Let's put our oxygen tank up here for now. Uh, and our water canteen on our water bar. Oh. I always hear... crazy little sounds. That's another bird down there. I guess we should go get that bird. We're not gonna waste... Not gonna waste the birdie bits. I have noticed that little stones and stuff do respawn on the ground. Oh, hello. There's a boar. <clears throat> he's totally ignoring us. Oh, he's going to eat the bird, that's why. Perfect. <laughs> oh, that arrow went in a really, really bad spot. Ouch. Not a place you want to get an arrow. But yeah, once you start killing animals, it brings out all these other animals uh, to eat the other animals, and it can kind of snowball really quickly. Now I'm killing all these things for experience, mostly, not because I'm an evil person. But uh, yeah, let's build... Uh, we still don't have enough for a stone knife. I'll just... We'll skin stuff until we get enough bone to make a bone knife. That poor arrow. There's lots of different types of meat now as well. You do need a steel knife or grater to, uh, what do we got in the water there? Is that the Komodo? That's a bird. That's fine. You can swim in the, they, they can stay in the water. They're probably eating the fish. We're stuck on the rock here. Okay. Uh, can I make a bone knife? Whoa. It's scaring me. Okay, uh, bone knife. Uh, we need some wood. Oh, that's why. Okay, for now we'll just make a s crappy stone knife. But I need to actually use my good knife on the big buffalo here. Because it's level 2. Okay. <clears throat> I should probably conserve this knife. I know I keep saying that. But let's, uh, yeah, let's bring it out. Where did it go? It's right here on slot 1. Okay, perfect. It's cheap to repair the, um... The stone knife and bone knife, because you're always, like, swimming in bone and stone. But I actually need some more stone here. Uh, where did my stone pickaxe go? There it is. Slot two. Okay. We'll get some stone going on. We'll make a beautiful sculpture. some mining in this game. I hear the wolves. Now I'm not quite sure where I want to build my ultimate base and the starter base. We're defying gravity here. Look at this. Look at that. Perfect. We'll leave the top and take the bottom. Okay, we're out of, we're out of stamina. Uh, what else should we be building here? We'll need a fire of it. Be soon here. <clears throat> we got armor, which is nice. Uh, we need to cut down a tree. We need to make a hatchet. Let's make a stone axe. 
that on slot three, I think. Where did it go? Right there. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, we'll grab another watermelon. So I don't think that, that watermelon will ever grow back. So we wanted to leave some watermelon around so that we, we until we can get a farm going. I mean, there's more on the map, but. Probably get some meat cooking as well. <clears throat> I'll put a fire. Oh, there's some pumpkins over there. Where should we build? I'm going to put the fire up here by the the lander. Let's deploy that right here. And we'll cook up some meat. Uh, we have no we have no wood yet. Uh, so we'll just use sticks for now. Let's go chop down a tree. Yeah, the trees don't respawn yet. I don't know if they ever will. Maybe they'll make it so you can plant them later. There are plenty of trees, though. As long as you don't have a forest fire. I do have the talent that automatically picks up all the logs. They automatically go in your inventory. So that's why this is happening. I should probably show you my talents so you guys know what I'm dealing with here. I think you keep getting... What are they called? You keep getting tech tree points past level 50. And I've got 20 points available. We'll eventually fill those in. But here's what I have in tier 1. Tier 2. We've got the ice box. Not the Xbox, the ice box. And fur armor. Tier 3. I haven't played this game in a while, so... Uh, it'll be interesting to get back into it. But I'm, I'm so much more into the game now that they have this persistent world. Oh, this fertilizer is new. You can tame animals now. That's new since I played last. Water wheel. Yeah, there's water power. There's so much new stuff. So it'll be, it'll be like, you know, fresh new experience for me, I think. Uh, what should we do? Where should we go? Where should we build? Oh, apparently on this map, stone buildings can get damaged in storms. Uh, which doesn't sound fun. <laughs> at all. Uh, stone buildings used to be safe. You could just leave them in bad weather and not worry about them. Uh, that's apparently not the case anymore. These deers are having a nice... It's Bambi! <laughs> I'm an evil doer. Evil doer. Uh, let's skin them. I might get eaten by piranhas in here. Let's uh, quickly do this. Bambi's over here. Poor Bambi. We should probably consider getting some oxygen stuff. This is actually a much nicer start than uh, my little practice round because there's no crocodiles around. Lots of pumpkins over there. Let's pick up all this stuff. I want to get to the point where I can make my own tea and coffee. I wasn't able to do that in the last playthrough. Now I should probably make a bone sickle. Because sickles allow you to get way more materials from all this stuff. I'm tempted just to build a... Oh, that's new. <clears throat> this is new. There's these geysers now, apparently. And you can you can mine them or cap them or something. Hey, wait a minute. This tree is broken. <laughs> oh, there's some soybeans here. These are actually... Give a decent buff, I think. We'll eat one of those. Yeah, so... Oh, some, this thing. I, uh, Enzyme Geyser. Whoa, there she goes. Place a vapor condenser on top. I don't even know what a vapor condenser is. But we'll find out. We will find out later. Uh... If we can survive and thrive. Okay, we need some oxygen. Let's put... Let's consume these. Consume this stack. 
Okay, we'll mine a bit of this stuff. We'll try to get a little mini base set up. I think I'm going to set my base up in a cave, though. And the reason for that is if you build a wooden base, it gets destroyed pretty easily and you just spend so much time repairing it. Oh, there's a little bird here. Hello, birdie. Goodbye, birdie. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, wooden bases on this map, they just get wrecked. So the first little mini base will be in a cave. And then we'll maybe build a stone base um outdoors but it sounds like even stone bases are not immune but if you log out i think you're safe it's only if you're in the game and like afk bad things can happen last killy rabbit i don't know why i'm on this murdering rampage <laughs> We do need fur to build our bed. I, did, I think I just picked up that rabbit. I don't want to pick him up. I want to skin. Uh, where'd, he, where'd he go? G. You to drop. Yeah, it's been a while. I don't want to carry him. Why can't I? Uh, oh, I don't want my life out. There we go. So we got... Whoa. Hey, I leveled. But I didn't really level. I've been level 50 forever. I did see someone with like level 70 in a screenshot and I wondered how the heck they did that. Oh, here comes a wolf to eat the... To eat the corpse. It brings out all the... All the wildlife. I can't stand here too long or it'll get swarmed by wolves. All that. Knife is busted. We won't be using stone knives very long. Let's build a bone knife. It is superior. Build a couple of those. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's skin this guy. Oh, I just heard a nasty thing. If you're in the skinning animation and you get attacked, it's really quite dreadful. <laughs> There's not much you can do. Okay, I'm going to put this over here. Oh, actually that there. I'm going to put my bone knife on three. That's what I'm used to. There we go. Three and four. Two knives. And my talents. Let me quickly show you my talents. We'll get stealth here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Minor wins. Okay, that's not too bad. <clears throat> okay. Talent tree. Uh, talents. We've got uh, some talents and resources here. A little bit of exploration. A little bit in, uh, one one point in hunting. A few in cooking and farming. And then habitation, nothing. Combat. We're focused mainly on knives, actually. Blades. And a little bit into bows here. And then there's some solo talents, which are, because I'm playing solo, we get some extra perks in here. But I think that's it for points. I don't think we're going to get any more points. But I can respec a little bit um, when I'm not in the game, outside the game. I better do some eating. Did I get the fire going? I don't think I did. I think I got distracted. We have no shelter, but I don't think it's going to be too much of a concern. What was the wolf? Oh, he's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. Oh, lucky. So lucky. That's, that wind is loud. It's howling. Okay, we'll go back down to. Uh, where's the ship? Down there. got to find a cave to settle in. That's the goal. I 
I guess the hitboxes are still kind of big. Or I'm just a god of the bow. There is arrow drop slightly. So you have to uh, take into account for distance a little bit. I hear the wolves. Here's my fire hidden away. Okay, we got some food here. Let's get the meat in this. And we need water. Let's cook the rest of this up. Uh, get some logs on there. Okay, we want to build a workbench. I don't know if I want to carry that around though, because it's pretty heavy. I think it's like 10 or 20 kilograms. Oh, we could probably afford it. Let's build that. We're going to use it pretty soon. Raw bacon, soft meat. Yeah, there's so many different meats and stuff. I think I might have to turn the volume down. <laughs> Can we turn the... Is there weather volume? No. We'll turn the master down a bit. Because I think it's going to be too loud. Okay, we got to go cave hunting. Where are we? I do know there's a cave down here. Because on my practice run I found it. There's probably caves all along here. Hmm. Could go down to the lake. We could settle down here. It's pretty close to everything. Maybe we'll take this meat with us to go. Uh, yeah, let's, let's pick up this fireplace. And we'll pick everything up. And we'll, the only problem with settling in a cave is you get pneumonia. Which is a big bummer. But we're gonna head down this way. And keep an eye out for alligators. Crocodiles. Oh, we'll grab a pumpkin. Grab a couple pumpkins. As long as we don't use all the pumpkins up. Now we do take... We have some debuffs from the storm. Minus 40% movement speed and negative A little bit off the experience there. I'm gonna need some of this, so I'm gonna grab some sulfur now. How much weight do I have? Yeah, we can spare a little bit of weight here. Yeah, we're gonna need sulfur. We're gonna need silica. Like I said, I could use my good pickaxe, but it's a little bit rougher to repair. And we don't have the... don't think we have the workbench for it yet. Okay, our inventory is very full now. No more picking up stuff. Um, is there a cave here? Some of the caves are walled in. What do we got down there? Holy sulfur nodes. Silica. Oh yeah, there's uh, there's like ostrich looking bird things as well. And those are new in this map, I think. Yeah, so if you want a slightly rougher, ex or, oh, wolf, sl slightly rough, rougher experience, but um, but new animals, because I don't think these new animals show up. Okay, Moa. I think this is the ostrich-looking thing. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh oh, he's angry. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Did we get hit? No, we're good. <clears throat> uh, how's our oxygen doing? Let's fill that up. Consume all. Okay. The uh, description on this is hilarious. Once extinct, large predatory bird native to New Zealand, brought back, to, brought back to life on Icarus through the terraforming process, and then killed again by you. <laughs> yes. We killed it. Okay, we'll grab some bones, and I like to keep my bone knife in. Tip top shape. Grab these. Okay, we gotta get to that cave. 
ideally before nightfall. I have this a sprint boost. Is this mineable? That looks like it could be mined. It's not a wall though. I think that's just a rock. That's a weird looking rock. Oh yeah, there's a lag there's a lag spike. I think it's loading in new terrain, I think. As you move along the map, I think that's what's going on. But I find I find when I look at my farms, when you build farms out, they lag a lot as well. Now I don't think what is this bush? Oh Lily, okay. I think you can domesticate pretty much every plant in the game. Which is awesome. Uh, any crocodiles? I think that's a crocodile right there. They are nasty. They they do a lot of damage. There's one yet. Yeah, I think that's one down there. Or is it a Komodo dragon? That's a Komodo. And that's another one down there. Or that might be an alligator or crocodile. Birdies. Okay, did I run by the cave? Where am I? I think it... Oh, oh, the hell, that sounds like a bear, maybe. Now we are going to have to... Oh, that is a bear. Oh, crap. I'm not ready to encounter a bear just yet. Okay, good to know. There's a bear around here. Uh, he would probably eat me alive. There's the cave. Mm, I don't like him patrolling like in front of the cave I'm thinking of settling in. Oh, he's too close. He's very close. Uh, hmm. He's going to eat that bunny. No, he's ignoring it. Okay, we're going to have to contend with some beasties in here. Uh, I need to... I'm going to stealth just in case that bear comes this way. We can drop this poisonous... Disgusting food for now. Some of this we can turn into fertilizer later, but I'm not going to bother right now. Let's get our buffs up here. We'll eat some pumpkin. And... Yeah. Uh, we're gonna, I guess we're going to go in here. We're probably going to get hit. Because we can't see a damn thing. But once these things load, we'll be able to see them. Apparently there's things you can build off these things. There's new there's new stuff on them. There's gonna be a bunch of worms in here, so we gotta take care of them first. Oh Okay. Oh, there's many. There's many. I know it's hard to see, but we'll get some light out in a sec. I, I mustn't Ow, poison. I'm out of arrows. <laughs> I was about to say, I better not run out of arrows. Uh, yeah, we're taking poison damage. That's okay, though. Let's, uh, let's craft up some arrows. Bone arrows are better. Uh, we have quite a few bones now. Yeah, we can do this. We can toss the stone arrows. Let's, uh, destroy... Oh, we're out of those anyway. Okay, let's... Yeah, uh, ammo type. There we go. Bone arrows a little, a little bit more damage as well. Let's eat some meat. Get a berry buff. Uh, we want a third food buff here. Mm, soybeans. Should do it, maybe? Oh, we got two. That's good enough. We could build a torch. That would be a smart idea. Let's make a torch. And you can drop torches on the ground. We'll make a couple. We'll get this place lit up. Huh. Wrong button. Okay. You to drop item. I think we can drop one right here. And get our bow ready. Creepy stuff. Creepy stuff. There we are. We'll duck behind that one. That one's gonna shoot. Ah! It's not like he spat. He definitely did spit. 
Okay, we'll pick up... Let's see what we get off this stuff. Uh, stone arrow. Destroy that. Okay. Hopefully we have enough room to build in here. Now, if we leave this place... Uh, if we, like, log out and come back, these things are going to respawn. Let's make sure we get them all. Oops. Misfire. Uh... Let's get another torch going here. So you guys can see what's happening. Now, if you stand on a torch, you can catch on fire. Not recommended. I think that might be gold up there. And we might have got them all. Now we're swimming. I think we got everything. Whoa, gravity's low on this planet. Let's make another torch. Okay. Like I said, we're gonna probably get pneumonia while we're in here. Oh, there is gold. We got some gold. We got some, I think that's platinum. Iron. We're gonna need all this stuff for early. Oh, deep mining ore, coal. Hmm. Good to know. We'll grab all the bits off these guys. These have, uh... Poison sacks and worm scales. I have no idea what we do with those yet. We'll find out. Okay. <clears throat> now we want to build our base, our starter base. It's in in here, but not too close to the entrance, or it might uh, get hit by the wind. So is my inventory full? Yep. Okay. So yeah, I can't build too close to the door. We're going to build, uh, there seems to be a decent amount of space right here, maybe. So let's start putting some stuff down here. We're going to put down the workbench. If it'll allow it. I'm hoping we can still build in the cave. Uh, let's put our fireplace down, maybe. Deploy that so we can get some light in here. I want to put it not too close to... Should we put it? I can't really see anything. We'll put it here for now. Just don't stand on it by mistake. Let's split this stack and we'll put some wood in here. There we go. That's not much light. We can make some torches, standing torches though, I think, at some point. Wall torch. Requires iron. Okay, that's not going to happen anytime soon. But we do have iron right here, so let's start picking. Let's start picking. We're gonna use our good pick here. I might occasionally dip my head outside so we try to avoid. Was that it? I think that was the last piece. I think that was the last piece. Let's get some more here. You know what? I'm gonna boogie out the front just real quick here. There we go. How are we doing for oxygen? We're okay. That bear seems to be gone for now. So yeah, we have the chance of getting pneumonia in here. Now we can build a de dehumidifier later on, but that's quite a ways away, I think, as well. But we could live in the cave forever. I, I want to build like a nice outdoor house though. Even if it gets damaged by the weather, I kind of want to build it. Aluminum. Titanium. I don't want to mine too much with this pick. What's the yield on this? 125% bonus yield. Hmm. Okay, what should we build here? A rain reservoir would be nice. Uh, we're going to save our stone for a bit though. We need the stone furnace up. Build that first. And let's drop some crap here. Actually, we can put our extra goods in here for now. And we probably should be cooking some stuff. Let's cook these soft meats. And bacon. Bacon! We'll get this cave smelling delicious. Okay, we got the sto or the uh, furnace. Let's stick that here if we can fit it here. 
Deploy, deploy. Will it fit there? It'll fit right there. Oh. Okay, let's get that iron going. We do need some fuel. We kind of need some more wood. Oh yeah, don't stand on the... <laughs> don't stand on the torch. <clears throat> Actually, the rest of the iron should go in there. Get the iron going. Now, I will do some stuff off camera. I will let some stuff smelt and do some basic resource harvesting off camera, but uh, the, the major build-outs I will save for on camera. Okay, this stone knife, I'm going to destroy that. We don't need that anymore. We do need an oxygen maker. Uh, I still should put some more crap away. We'll put... Um, you know what? We'll put this away. This away for now. A pumpkin we can cook up. Worm scales we're not going to use anytime soon. Stack some stuff up here. There is an inventory sort. There we go. That'll help a little bit. Yeah, I want to get some lights going on pretty soon. We'll get some torches going on. I also want to get some copper while I'm in here. So let's go find... There should be some copper in here somewhere. Oh, uh, that's iron. That's gold. Ah, oh, nice. I think they might have increased the spawn rate of gold. This is copper here, I think. Let's get some of this juicy stuff. Now I... Oh, we just got pneumonia. <laughs> That'll limit our stamina a lot. Which makes things a little bit slower. That was bound to happen. That's... That's what you get for living in a cave. Okay, there's stone in here as well? Interesting. Okay, any more copper? I don't know if I got the full node there. What do we get? 23 pieces. I don't think that was it, but it's kind of overlapping. Oh, there we go. We can see. Imagine that. Not really see, but there it is. There's two rocks blended together. That's what's happening. Okay, I can't see. <laughs> Try that again. Uh, I think we might have got it all. We've got enough for now. Let me get that in the furnace as well. Okay, copper. Uh, let's put some pumpkin on the fire. What have we got here? Cooked bacon. Sounds good. Let's eat that. Cooked soft meat. Cooked prime meat. That's a really good buff. Okay. Oh, that didn't sound nice. I kind of want to chop a tree down before it's dark. Oh, I think it's dark already. No. Oh, yeah, it's dark. <laughs> Now that bear is around somewhere. That is a wolf over there. Let's go over here. That blob looks like a bear, but it is not. Yeah, let's get this tree down real quick. I like to do most things in stealth. Because uh, you never know. You never know what will happen. I'll try to do my recording during the day as much as possible. In the game, I mean. So you guys can see, because the dark is not any fun at all. Until we get some lights going on in our in our house. I highly recommend doing the cave start though. It's um It's so much better than building a wooden house that just either burns down or falls down. You can try to keep it up, but it requires a lot of maintenance, so I don't I don't think it's really worth it. Now the wood houses do look nice. I'll admit, they look pretty nice. But um they are just too much maintenance. So I usually just wait until I can build a stone house. And I also like to bring my my furnaces. I don't know if this is still a good thing, but I like to bring bring my furnaces to the mining spots. Uh, we're looking for some... We're looking for some... Uh, I forget what it's called. The white ore. I don't want to go too far away here. I don't want to encounter a bear at night. 
That would be the worst. There's something right there. I can't tell what it is. Stealthing. <laughs> hey, there's iron outside here. There might be a cave right here. Oh, that's not iron. That, uh, that's sulfur. This stuff. This is what I'm looking for. How much inventory space? We got lots of inventory space. We're going to grab some of this. Silica. Because we're going to need this for stuff. We'll try to get, like, the basics down. The anvil. The anvil and the oxygen making thingy. Grab some more of this. We can build medicine for the pneumonia. Because the ammonia is, is a drag for sure. I'm going to get my knife out. It's faster to run with my knife, so we'll use that. There's some critter there. I'm going to avoid it. <laughs> Stamina depleted. Yeah, having pneumonia, no fun. Where's my cave? Here it is. Now the worms do respawn. Unfortunately. But let's build our oxygen maker. This thing. The ox oxite dissolver. Skinning bench. We probably don't need. Rain reservoir I might build outside at some point. Herbalism belt bench. I want to do. But one thing at a time here. Oxalite bench. Stick that right... Not too close to the fire. Right here. Now this we can put our oxygen bottle. And... Our oxygen. And this needs sulfur to run. So we'll grab some sulfur. Not too much. That goes in there. <clears throat> That'll fill up that bottle. And then we can put the bottle on our in our inventory and not worry about oxygen for a very long time. Okay, this is almost done smelting. I think we should probably get a little bit more iron. Right here, maybe. Let's drop this torch so we can see what we're doing, kind of. Yeah, this chews through the stamina. see we should have dropped the torch maybe right here just don't stand on come on torch we'll drop it right on top of the iron there we go oh, it only had a couple hits left anyway oh the life of a cave dweller okay oxygen how's that doing still filling up okay what else can we build? We want to build the stonemason's bench. Because that's going to let us build... Where is that thing? The machining bench. Masonry bench. This is what we want to build to be able to build stone building parts. But uh, I'm probably not going to build outdoors just yet. I'm going to get a few more things going in here. We'll get the herbalism bench. I want to get a pneumonia cure up. And we need a mortar and pestle. We'll get one of those going. Okay, herbalism. You come over. This is like the um, medicine making. Do we have room to put it right there? Yeah, it'll go right there. What can we make? Antiparasitic, antibiotic tonic. This is what I want. This is definitely what I want. Uh, let's put a mortar and pestle right here. I think I need a torch first, even though it's going to eat up some iron. Let's, uh, I think we're going to have a decent amount of iron here. Oh yeah, the, we need the anvil first. But let's get wall torch. It's eight iron ingots for a wall torch? Is there anything cheaper? There's a standing torch, I think. 
There used to be a standing torch. Um, I don't know where it's gone. Maybe it's here, actually. Under the base crafting menu. I think it's in here somewhere. There's actually a search. Uh, it doesn't seem... Oh, yeah, it does work. Floor torch. That's what I want. It actually doesn't require any iron. Okay, yeah, sulfur, fiber, sticks. Sulfur. Uh, am I out of fiber? <clears throat> it's quite possible. Quite possible. I keep going to the workbench, but it's in here. Fiber. I need some fiber. Guess we're going back out for a bit. The weather sounds frightful. Oh, is that a bear? There's some animals here. There are many animals here. Uh, we must be careful. We must be vigilant. I don't. They see me. I don't know what they are. It could be a pack of wolves. I think they're hopping around like wolves. That is a bear. That's a bear. We'll go this way. Goodbye, bear. <laughs> I could maybe take it on. I just don't want to try right now. Uh, let's get uh, that out of our inventory and use this instead. We're going to use the sickle. This will give us way more fiber. Yeah, we get 30 fiber. If you just pick it, you get 7 plus some sticks. So yeah, the sickle is OP. And if you use your axe on a small tree, you get way more sticks out of it. So definitely use your tools. We're going to get a bunch of fiber since we're out here. Where's that bear? I see you. And even though you can chop these down with an axe to get more stuff, I'm just going to pick them up because they're in my way. But normally, it would be good to use the uh, old sickle on those. Apologize for it being so dark. Um, how many fibers do we have? Enough. We're running back. Keeping an eye out for that bear. Because I'm a big chicken. And I don't have any stamina right now, so I couldn't really... Go in a knife fight with the bear and win. I would almost certainly die. How are we doing in here? Uh, I was gonna put some more ore in there. That would make sense. Get that in there. Uh, we could probably put a little bit more wood in there. Just so it doesn't run out. And now we can build a wall torch. That This will help a lot. I think. The floor torch. Not the wall torch. Oh, where did it go? There it is. Excess fuel. Oh yeah, we gotta fuel it. We'll put some logs in here. These things last quite a while. Ah, uh, we have light. A little bit of light. Not much, but a little bit. Okay, we gotta build the anvil. But I'm gonna need a little bit more iron, I think. So let's try to get this node up here. We'll get the most difficult one first. Uh. Okay, we got that. Let's get that in the stone furnace. Probably want to get multiple furnaces going. Speed this process up. But for now, we're probably good. Okay, we got 30 bars. I think we need 40 for the anvil. Let's see, anvil. We need, yeah, we need 40. Oh, I have some on me. We can actually take some out of here. And we're going to have enough to do it. This is like Tier 1 setup. Anvil, yes, we want you. Yeah, masonry we'll want to build if we want to build a proper building. But I'm not sure I'm going to do that just yet. 
I think I might, might just live in a cave for a bit here. And I want to find out where I want to put my house as well. Okay, we're going to stick this... Uh, we could probably make some more floor torches. Uh, eight. Yeah, let's do it. Let's light this place up. It's so... It's so dark. Okay, let's put this... Mm, man. Put it... Uh, we'll put it here. Okay, I don't want to put too much wood in here. That doesn't throw much light, but it's better than nothing, I guess. What are we doing in here? Our bacon is well cooked. Let's eat this pumpkin before it disappears. Okay, uh, let's put some... Where do I, oh, yeah, we got some regular meat. We can chuck on there. Oh yeah, the bag. <laughs> the most important thing I, for, I forgot to make. Uh, the sleeping bag. How do we cancel this? Clear, clear. The sleeping bag. Uh, bedroll, my spawn point. Very important. Should have done that first, just in case we died. Okay, I'm gonna put that right here. And make sure you set your spawn point. Okay, now I feel a little bit better, a little bit more secure. Now, I'm not gonna mine the aluminum. Oh, I can't even mine it anyway, yet. Or could I? Yeah, I could. But the yield, I'm going to wait for a better pickaxe before I mine these. So we get more out of them. Maybe I'll mine this one because it's in the way. And we might want to put some stuff here. I don't think we're going to need titanium anytime soon though. We might. Okay, that's gone. Let's store that away. Let's put all our junk in here. Titanium... I don't think we can smelt this in... T yeah, we can't even smelt this yet. Let's put some stuff away here before it gets too clogged. Okay, let's put the anvil down. The anvil can go... here. Oh, it might catch on fire there. Cancel. Put it right... Uh, we'll put it by the furnace. That seems logical. There we go. Now what can we make in here? We can make the iron pickaxe. We can make the iron sickle, crossbow. I think I'm going to make an iron knife. But we need some nails for that. Make some nails. I'm going to make the iron knife. So I don't use up my good knife too much. What's the... This is 54 to 60 damage versus... And a 200% yield for skinning. This is a much better knife. And it's pretty cheap to repair, so we'll use that as our primary knife, I think. We'll use the bone one for, for like, mashing up bones. But for skinning, we'll use the iron one. And for combat, I think we'll use the iron one. Okay, we are almost out of time here. I think I got this kind of basic base set up. Um, next episode, we'll do some more farming. We'll try to get into tier 2 stuff. We need to build this machining bench requires quite a few things. I'll farm up some mats and we'll get into the machining age and kind of explore the map a little bit more. Take a look around, find some more caves and find out where we want to build our home. Let me know if you know any good places around here that I could build my home. I kind of wanted to build up near some waterfalls but I don't think there's any falls on this map like the other map. I think it's more of a just a small small little there might be something here. I'll take a look around. But with this persistent world, <clears throat> way better. I'm going to enjoy this game a lot more, I think. There are missions as well, so we got to build a jobs board later. But let me know if you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.